Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Seven Days to Die in Project Zomboid. So today we're gonna playing a mod known as the Horde mod. This adds basically hordes every couple days. Um, we chose to make it seven days, just like Seven Days to Die. And uh, we also are playing in the West Point expansion mod. And uh, we spawned over here. We got this cool little tile inventory mod going on. Ooh, some spray cans and a box of sparklers. Okay. Uh, this spray can might come in handy, so we'll keep that noted. Um, we got our boy Chad here, Chad Gamer. This is what he's looking like right now. He's got a little bit overweight. Um, he's a construction worker, broken leg, uh, injured, deprived, a bunch of negative traits, anemic, high thirst, high food. Um, but he's got a lot of positive traits, so... Starting off a little bit rough, but he is going to turn into the ultimate Giga Chad to kill these zombies. We have it set to this every seven days. Um, I think it starts at 20 zombies. Let's move these over here. Um, 20 zombies the first night, and it actually doubles every single night. So then 40, then 60, um, adds an extra 20 every week that we're doing. So first things first, we are going to turn on this TV, go through the motions of the first week and try to prepare for the inevitable horde. Let's get this guy turned on, tune into life and living. There we go. I think it's already started, so that means it's probably around six, I think. Is there any books we can read? No, uh, maybe. Tailoring, all right, we'll take this pen, we'll probably use that. So yeah, we have this little inventory mod, it's called Tiles, I believe, and it's kind of like Tarkov, and I also turned on this mode where you have to search through Kind of just like Tarkov here. Adds a little bit of an extra step and extra immersion to the game. Right, we're just going to go through this here. Actually, while we're doing that, we will get up and do a little exercising. Do some squats. Do some push-ups. There we go. Usually what I do is I just go through with all of these and I speed them up real quick. And then I usually sit for a little while to uh, regain my exertion here. There we go. We're getting a little thirsty. All right. Let's loop the rest of the house up here. That's outside. Oh, so we got a house directly next to us. That's going to come in handy. Another TV here. This is a nice looking. Oh, we got some friends already. Why don't we uh, get ready to take these guys out? Definitely use some shoes and some clothes. Can we get both of these on? Yep, there we go. Take these guys out. So far, this uh, scenery looks really cool. I haven't really looked at this mod too much. I was just on the uh, Project Zomboid website for the map to see what kind of cool spots we could build at and survive. I do want to build a actual place. Oh, we got a watch. Uh, do want to build an actual, how do I, there we go. An actual base instead of living in one. So we'll start out with just a little spot and then we'll uh, work our way into building something with carpentry. We got the watch here, so that is sweet about 40 minutes until the uh, thing comes on oh two car keys we'll take both of those i hear someone smacking something so let's get this stuff on quick we're also playing with the survivors mod another cool mod that i think is great especially until they actually implement it into the game having some npcs to hang out with and uh, play is a lot nicer than just playing by yourself there we go move these guys out of here okay Got a little bit of a uh, setup going with some clothes. See anything good in here? A screwdriver. I guess that's better than nothing, but we really need a weapon. Ooh. Oh, okay. This is we have to. Ooh, look at that, boys. There's a Mustang and a pickup truck right there. What's the likelihood that one of those will have some fuel in it and be ready to operate? Oh, and we got a pistol. Boys, we're off to a good start. All right. Oh, what else we got in this nightstand? Anything else? Some more ammo. Oh, two pistols. All right. This one we'll just have to put in our, our hand. We'll put that in there. We need a bag of some sort. We really don't want to be popping shots off at the moment, but uh, it's nice to have a gun. What do we got here? Oh, that's cool. I was curious what that was. Cool thing about this tile mod is uh, all the new little symbols and emblems that you get to see. Some pants, some shoes. Excuse jacket. There we go. Look at that. Starting off good. I really like this scenery so far. I've only been in a house and a half. There's a pillow in case we have to strangle some zombies. What do we got here? A bag maybe? A guitar. All right. 
jacket, a shirt. Um, that one's full condition house hours at full. All right. So I might just use this for now. Um, this pistol is going to have to go somewhere. All right. We'll just have to come back for that. Remember that's there. Oh, what's going on there? We got the show back on, but I'm not sure what's going on. That's just another channel, I think. We'll sit here, tune in on to this. Um, the Magnum and the Deagle. Do a little bit of exercise and while we're waiting. The other way of holding the guitar by the, the cords. Is there anything good in any of these? Maybe a bag, that'd be sweet. Tote bag, not really what I was envisioning, but I guess I didn't specify. We got the key for this Mustang. That's pretty sweet. Let's see if there's anything good in here. Either way, we could always stock it up with stuff. Got a sack. Let's hop in here, see if there's anything good. Oh, we got a Swiss Army knife. Bandage. Nice. Some twine. Definitely keep that. And a Swiss Army knife. I wonder if we'll be able to start it. No, I think it's too low on gas. Yeah. It's fine. We should be able to get some gas, though. Um, so we have this large house here. There's all these houses. We go to the second floor, which might be a really good idea, especially with these zombies here. Let's uh take this guy out. Uh, let's drop this. Oh, there's a couple over here, boys. Oh, this thing is very slow. All right. It's pretty strong, though. Oh yeah, very strong. Nice. Clunk. Clunk. Nice. Alright. Anything good on these guys? Clunk. Nice. Yeah, I like this guitar. It's just a little bit slow, so we have to pay attention to that. But other than that, it's pretty sweet. There we go. Come on, anybody else? Nice. Oh, she's not dead. Now she is. Sweet. Uh, let's loot these guys up. Ooh, we got some more. Wow. All the friends out today. Ooh, a digital watch. That would be good for the alarms. All right, where'd that watch go? Let's equip that. All right, boys. We got all set up. We're looking like a spec ops agent now. I'm going to head upstairs, see what we can find up here. We got a couple minutes until the uh, next episode comes on. Let's tune this up real quick. I don't think there's going to be any zombies here, but we don't want to go too carefully or too uh, head first. Because if there is, then it's kind of going to suck. Our guy's are really nervous because uh, he hasn't had any ciggies in a while. Oh, we can have two fanny packs, boys. That's pretty sweet. All right. I didn't know you could do that. All right, boys. We just came down here a little bit to see what was going on. And we found a survivor. Survivor Russell. What's up, my man? Come on over here. You want to join my group? Nice. All right. Let's give this guy some good stuff. We have uh, this leather jacket. I think he has a leather jacket, actually. Let's go inside first. So we're not out here in the open. Oh, he's got a little vest, too. Let's see what he's got going on here. Uh... Oh, yeah. He's got a leather jacket. Some aviators. Nice. Duffel bag, tennis racket, vest, military boots. Nice. He's ready to go. Ooh. Oh, shit. Joseph. Oh, this man's got a gun. Joseph, come on over here, buddy. You want to be in my group? Nice. Finally got some boys. What about this guy? Yeah, so he's got a gun, a lot of boxes of ammo. Holy shit. Uh, we're going to have to give him a different weapon, so he is not slapping zombies with that. Let's give him the, uh, <laughs> the guitar. We'll get him set up with that guitar. <laughs> there you go, boys. All right. So we got a little bit of a group going. Now all we got to do is uh, get ready. I think we have... Uh, let's see. It's four days and 11 hours. So we got a little bit of time left still. Oh, boy. Just pause it because there's another guy right here. What's up, man? Sweet. All right. We're getting kitted out, boys. Nice. Anybody else in the area before I go inside? Finally got them. Where are they at? Where are they at? There they are. We got some ciggies. 
came over here to this uh little shop down oh there's not much of a map but this little shop down here let's puff a nice smoky smoke there we go now a guy can finally rest might have to puff a few of them i know one was enough sweet Wait, finish looting up this place really need a saw so we can start working on um on some uh carpentry stuff a lot of candy found a bunch of new people too we're just random running around um so we have a bunch of them at base just kind of guarding and getting ready for the horde we had about a day left no extra loot here nobody else there's one down there Alrighty, boys it's 9 40 on the seventh day i believe in a minute or so it's gonna be the uh, horde so we're gonna get some nice drink we'll have a quick bite to eat i sorted out some of the stuff down here i had to switch back the uh the tetris inventory mod just because it was a little bit of a pain so we're gonna head outside we got about 10 minutes and there should be a horde coming pretty excited we're preparing we got some boys out here I uh, found like, a couple gas cans and filled up this guy, so he runs and drives. Needs some work, but it should be good. We'll have a quick puff before they get here. They should be coming any minute. Alright, boys, I did a little more tinkering. There we go. Ah, they should be coming. I heard a little zombie noise, too. Where are they at? I don't think we have any food on us. No, not really. So we'll be alright. We'll have a nice monsty before they uh they get here. Okay, here they come, boys. Ooh, this guy's brought us a bag. Very nice of him. Take him out, boys. Nice. Definitely want his bag. Give me that duffel bag. Oh, there's a steak in here too. You're not the kind of steak that you want. Boys, oh, this guy's got a bag. I want all the bags because I'm gonna be looting them all up and we'll be putting them to uh, oh, look at this guy, um, in with the Mustang. So when we decide to travel off, first aid kit, when we travel off, we can just load those up and throw those all right in the back of the, the car. Oh, a meat cleaver, nice. Come on, boys, dunk. Yeah, the only thing that sucks about this survivor's mod is sometimes they kind of just like fall over and do weird shit. I don't know what's up with that. Nothing really crazy here. I kind of want the medical jacket. It's pretty cool looking. Where's everyone else at? That guy's moving the corpse around. That's good. At least he's doing something. Not seeing too many more. I think we have a set to 20, 20 zombies. Yeah, nobody else really in the area, huh? That's odd. Oh, there goes one. He ran into one of these vehicles, but maybe that horn will bring some more. Yeah, they'll, they'll take him down. He looks like he was cooking. Here they come. Come on, boys. Can I shoot this girl through the window? Nice. We'll have a little puff. Oh, there's another one down here. We got a couple here, boys, but I don't know why it just didn't spawn weird. I think it has something to do with it just not spawning in general. Let's give this guy a nice pop. Get to play with our uh, pistol a little bit. Hey, here comes a couple. Yeah, nothing too crazy out of these guys. Those bags were nice. Oh, look at that. Patricia, come here. Patricia, you want to be a friend? Oh, we got a couple zombies with her, too. Nice. All right. Take them out. Ooh. That was a fail. Good job. What's her name? Patricia. Oh, she just randomly fell. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why they do that sometimes. Another zombie coming. Yeah, it looks like it probably it, boys. Well, I mean, I guess there's about 20 there. They just didn't really uh, come after us like I thought they would. There's these guys down here. Too bad I have any more ammo, I'd shoot them up. Actually, I wonder if I do have ammo. No, I think I put all the ammo away. I want to try the steak, is it any good? Or is it like a little kitchen knife? Oh yeah, a little kitchen knife. Ooh, the way I juke them too, look at it, dunk. 
Alright. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Ooh, a multi dad I'll take that. Oh, well, it looks like it's it, boys. We, I guess, survived the first horde night. It was, I guess, what was that? Just about 20 of them. So yeah, maybe we should do a little bit more. Maybe we'll do 30. Or well, actually, no, next, next time it'll be a 40 because of the increased. I just have to s fix up the settings and then we should be good. Yeah, not too bad so far, boys. I think that was pretty cool. I liked a little bit more, but I guess it's good that it started out slow. Um, going to continue to kind of get everything situated, organized, and hopefully load up the car and find a nice spot to set up camp and build up. Build a nice little uh, fort with all the boys. Yeah, that was our first horde, our first seven days in Project Zomboid 7 Days to Die. Uh, if you guys liked it, don't forget to hit the like button. Stay tuned for some more episodes, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.